Good evening, folks, and welcome to the Sci-Fi Corner. I'm your host, Sean Patrick Gershon, and this week we are doing another tag video. This one is called Beam Me Up, the Star Trek tag. And, uh, yes, this is one of mine. And uh, a while back, my buddy Bronco Juggalo Talks Movies did the Star Wars tag. So guess what? I'm doing the Star Trek tag. <laughs> So let's get started, shall we? Without further ado, this is 10 questions all about the Star Trek franchise as a whole. Now that includes all the multiple versions of TV series and all the multiple versions of movies. All that. Uh, so number one is kind of a heated debate among Star Trek fans, and that is who is the best captain of the Enterprise? Now for me, that is Captain James T. Kirk. Uh, from the original series. Uh, yes, as a kid, when I was five years old, I always dreamed of being up there on the Enterprise, serving alongside of Captain James T. Kirk. Uh, to me, he was such a hero, so intelligent, a uh, highly efficient captain, um, and not afraid to get into fisticuffs when he needed to. He'd do anything to save the Enterprise and its crew. Uh, and he was also great with the ladies. <laughs> He's just a guy that you could look up to as a role model, uh, and that's why I love him. Uh, so number two is, what is your favorite Star Trek TV series? Uh, now for me, that is going to be the original series from the 60s. Uh, so incredibly well written, uh, so creative and colorful. Uh, I love all the characters, uh, amazingly well portrayed by the actors. Uh, yeah, and back then they didn't have the uh, special effects like we have today and the CGI and all that. They had to re rely on creativity and great storytelling. Uh, and Star Trek has that in speeds. Uh, so number three is, what is your favorite Star Trek movie? Now for me that is going to be Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan. Starring Ricardo Montalban as the villainous Khan, the genetic Superman. Uh, he also appeared in the Star Trek original series episode, Space Seed. Uh, and he just does an awesome job. Now what this movie had that the original movie, the motion picture, didn't, is this movie is a lot more entertaining, it's got a lot more action, where the motion picture uh, kind of dragged, it was very slow paced. And this one was a lot more entertaining, plus you had an awesome villain in Khan. Uh, and you just had a great story as well. A lot more intriguing. Uh, number four is, who is your favorite character in the franchise? That's a tough one, because there's so many great characters. You've got Kirk, Spock, Dr. McCoy, uh, Sulu, Scotty, you got Uhura. Uh, so many awesome characters. Uh, plus the multiple villains, you know, all the different alien species. There's so many great characters in Star Trek. But for me, I'm sticking with Captain James T. Kirk on that. <laughs> he was my hero and still is to this day. I still love watching the old original series and I still look up to him as like a role model. Okay, so number five is who is your favorite villain in the franchise? So for me, it's definitely going to be Khan. Uh, as played by Ricardo Montalban in the original Space Seed episode and Star Trek II The Wrath of Khan and Star Trek Into Darkness uh, as directed by J.J. Abrams. Uh, in that film he was portrayed by Benedict Cumberbatch who is one of today's best actors and he did a great job in that role as well. Uh, very enjoyable. So yes, Khan for me. Number six is, what is your favorite alien species in the franchise? There's so many different alien species. You've got the Klingons, you've got the Romulans, you've got the Vulcans, you've got the Andorians. So many of them. Uh, but for me, it's going to be the Klingons. That's the most recognizable and the best villains in the franchise for me. I love the Klingons. <laughs> Number seven is, do you enjoy the J.J. Abrams movie series? Uh, so J.J. Abrams directed the original reboot from 2009, uh, and I thought it was great. Uh, it was a great update 
of the original series uh, with the classic characters of Captain Kirk and Spock and Scotty, Dr. McCoy, all of them. And I thought it was a great update and it had some great special effects, which is what the original series didn't have. And it did inject a little bit of Star Wars type of entertainment in there, you know. And that may not sit well with some of the Star Trek fans, but I thought it really, I thought it was really enjoyable. I felt Star Trek needed that, you know, in order to remain relevant. Uh, so I really love them. And I love all three of them, Star Trek and then Star Trek Into Darkness and then Star Trek Beyond was also very good. Even though it wasn't directed by J.J. Abrams, uh, he did still produce it. Uh, number eight is, what is your favorite Spock moment? Uh, so for me, it's going to be in the original series episode, Amok Time. And uh, that's when he gives the Vulcan salute. That's right, I can do it. <laughs> to uh to pow uh so in the episode he was supposed to marry this uh young woman named to um but uh to challenged him to fight for his love you know and he ended up having to fight captain kirk and at the end it appeared that he had killed captain kirk uh so he tells to pow i hope you live long and prosper to pow i shall do neither I've killed my captain and my friend. <laughs> I just thought that was a great moment for Spock, you know. Uh, number nine is, what is the best Star Trek TV episode? Uh, so for me, it's going to be City on the Edge of Forever. Uh, it was a great tr time travel storyline. Uh, so the, the crew uh, went back in time through this portal into the past. Uh, and uh, Captain Kirk met this young, like, politician uh, who's played by Joan Collins in the episode. Who does a great job, by the way. And back then, she was so gorgeous. And Kirk kind of falls in love with her, but they find out that she's kind of an important uh, political figure that leads to the Nazi Germany, you know? <laughs> and, uh, and in history said she had to die uh so because if you change anything you change the entire history of the world if you change one thing uh so in order for history to remain unchanged she had to die uh so what happens is uh edith is her name that's the name of her character she goes across the street uh to meet up with captain kirk and uh she ends up almost getting hit by a car, but uh, Kirk has a chance to possibly jump and get her out of the way. But he doesn't, because he knows that she has to die. And then Dr. McCoy comes up, wait, what are you doing? She's gonna die, you know? And he has to hold her, uh, Dr. McCoy back, and he has a real hard time with it. He's crying, you know? It's a very, very emotional scene. <laughs> and uh, who knew that there could be that kind of drama in a science fiction show, but... Nevertheless, that's my favorite episode. <laughs> Number 10 is, what is the worst Star Trek TV series? <laughs> that's a tough one because there's really none that I think are terrible. Um, but for me, I'm going to pick Enterprise. I think that was the weakest of the bunch. Uh, and I didn't think it was bad, actually, but it tried to be retro. It, it actually took place, the events took place before the original series, so they tried to get that retro feel to it. Um, but it just didn't work, you know. It didn't quite work. Um, but it's not that bad, you know. It's just not that good either. <laughs> and the newest series right now is Star Trek Discovery, and that seems to have gone over well with the fans. That does have like a mix of the original and Next Generation and Voyager along with like the J.J. Abrams style, you know. So it's kind of a good mix of both, I think. Uh, so that's it, guys. That's it for Beam Me Up, the Star Trek tag. Uh, so now it's my turn to tag some people. So I'm going to tag Bronco Juggalo Talks Movies, Horror Metal, Horror Miser Monty G. Horrific Nightmares JM, Random Horror, Dave Maggot, Movie Review Time, 
and Bushman Blue. Now, I'm not sure if all you guys are Star Trek fans, um, but I'm tagging you anyway. You don't have to do it if you don't want to. Uh, and, of course, anyone who wants to do the tag, if you're a big Star Trek fan and you want to do this tag, feel free to do so. And thank you for joining me, Sean Patrick Urshan, in the Sci-Fi Corner. Tune in and blast off.